What made you move out of your parents' house? Too many adults under one roof. Needed to branch off and be my own person in my own space. My parents. They started charging me rent. Figured if I was going to pay rent anywhere I'd rather do it someplace where I answered only to myself. They lost the house, someone else bought it, I bought the house and now they live with me face with tears of joy. Mom's boyfriend beat the crap out of me. Cops had to pull him off of me. They put a temporary restraining order on him so he couldn't come near me. They decided I'd be the one to move out. I was 15. Couldn't take the abuse any longer. College. But I would have moved out at 18 no matter what. I couldn't wait to not live with my parents anymore. She kicked me out the day after my 18th birthday, because I turned 18. And dropped me at a homeless shelter with a small laundry basket of clothing and no money. My dad trying to hang himself with a pair of long johns from the ceiling fan in my room. He's still alive but I will never forget he did that just because I planned to move out in the summer. Instead I moved out that day. Going to college. Was dating a girl at the time and needed my own space. Raising the rent to paying one two of his mortgage while I was 17 and had barely gotten my first job. Talk about killing your kid's economic future. It was easy decision to move out. Alcoholic, smoked like a chimney. You live and move on. Me doing all the chores while my older brother and sister don't do anything. I could practically feel their breath on the back of my neck. Got pregnant at 18, married moved out and had the baby at 19. Divorced and back then out then back a few times over the following years. Finally at 26 moved out again with a degree, a career, and the best husband ever. And then five years later, my parents moved in with me. Life is crazy. Extreme Catholic mother. Literal psychopath father. Out at age 16. They were charging me more in rent and bills than they were paying themselves. Moved out and got my own place before I even had a car. I was able to save money by getting my own place. Looking for a non-restrictive environment. Went to college 1000 miles away. Parents got divorced and I was turned into my mom's glorified maid and babysitter for four years. Left at 16. I grew up and could afford it. Who wants to live with their parents forever? I didn't want to turn my parents' place into a whorehouse. So I got a whorehouse of my own. I was paying rent to live in the garage, with a car, laundry stuff, and plenty other junk. My sister would bring home the drugged out losers from school daily. I kept telling my mom the shady shit they up to, but she insisted sister could have friends over. I tried locking them out and shit hit the fan, I got kicked out I was 20. In my absence, my sister became a heroin addict. Several failed rehabs later my parents were out of money. Nothing good would have came to me if I stayed. I was out of that fucking place right before my 18th and still one of the best decisions of my life. My wife thought it best if I left my parents and we move in together. Foster care smiling face with sunglasses. Bought my own. I got pregnant at 17 and was told that I had gotten myself into my predicament with adult actions so now I get to be an adult and deal with it. It was probably for the best, but my mom will often say things about helping my younger sisters with their kids like she helped me. She has built up a version of events where she was supportive and she believes her version 100. My parents let me stay as long as I wanted. So I put most of my money away until I was 30 and then bought a house. Yes yeah, some of my friends laughed at me for not moving out when I was in my early 20s, but they are still paying rent and I own a home. Me and my brother found a place and moved in together. 
Somewhere between staining the fence, repairing the washing machine and making dinner I realized it was less work to live on my own. I was kicked out during the Great Recession after I was laid off. We love family in my family. Wanted to be on my own, even if that meant with two roommates but that was in 2002 so rent was much more reasonable, especially spread three ways. I wanted to adult. What a stupid, stupid, stupid child. My family are over controlling and super judgy. Everyone is judgmental. But they are on a different level. If you aren't like them, there's something wrong with you. So I made any excuse to love as far as possible. I'm in my mid-thirties and still sorting through the issues it has given me, constantly critiquing how I think and act towards others. I ended up finding solace in ancient philosophy. It's always a bit traumatic for me to go home though. I was 28 when I moved after saving a deposit on my house, best thing I ever did was never to rent, but this was 26 years ago and my house cost £58,000, mortgage has just been paid off. She is controlling and wouldn't take no for an answer. Undiagnosed but heavily suspected narcissism and have a victim complex. X200B. Literally everyone left her, including all of my siblings too. We all sadly agreed that it was the best decision for each and every one of us. X200B. Parent herself, is immovable. Nobody can tell her she is wrong or else she is a victim. Sad that such a human with no way to change at all. I was 16, my parents were cool and everything but my house was too small so it was weird bringing girls back and unfair on my parents for me to smoke weed after being out with friends so I rented my first flat. It was a spectacular mistake. Got kicked out at 19 for owning a flashlight that my mom found in my dresser. She was a hyper-religious Mormon and I was an atheist and still am so we pretty much hated each other and she moved all my stuff out one day while I was at work. She had also promised me free rent if I continued to go to college and move to Utah with her, but demanded it from my meager paycheck once we were there, and that was also a problem. I endured extreme car CSA through my childhood got pregnant at 14 by one of the friends of my shit parents who was one of the sick guys. I was forced to place the baby up for adoption. Really it was for the best. A few months later my male friend who I always called my sole friend who was also going through the same thing he was 15. We ran to another friend's house for about a year. Then we left, we were together until his death. My stepdad being the most anally retentive person on the planet. He's so uptight you couldn't get a Rizzler paper through his ass cheeks. I turned 18 and my parents gave me a full luggage set and a coupon for U-Haul for my birthday. I looked up and my dad just smiled and said in your own time, but before you're 19. I was gone within two weeks. Wanting my freedom back I moved up to college when I was 20 and had zero plans of ever coming back to my home state. Well I lost my job a few years later and had to and sucked it up for two years until my buddy was able to save up enough to get a place and we moved in together. My sister took me with her face with tears of joy. My mom was smoking my weed so she kicked me out. Toxic parents. Ultra-religious, physically abusive parents. I followed my high school girlfriend to the opposite coast because I was 17 and thought we would be together forever. And my dad and stepmom are some of the worst people to exist. Having been accepted in a good school in another city. Rent controlled. I got a job, and they raised my parents' rent charged them back rent. I passed a medical university in another city. My mother only allowed me to leave her house because I didn't pass here, she still makes video calls every day and begs me to come back to her house on weekends and holidays. You Americans are crazy. Turning 18, joining the military, starting my adult life, heading to college after that, relocating to another state, starting a career. My mom hated me. It was an easy day.